In, in an educational environment like that of MIT, when it's very anti-disciplinary, when it's very open-ended, you have the opportunity for people to think out of the box, to try ideas out. And that's something that is harder to do in the, in the private sector sometimes. You also have an influx of very talented young people that might have ideas that they might not find support within a more structured hierarchy. Uh, so in, in that sense, it, it makes a, a lot of sense for companies to actually participate in that type of environment because uh, they're not going to participate in that environment to get solutions to the problems that they already know they have, but to actually identify problems that they don't even know they have, or to identify sectors or ideas that might be future trends. You know? So it is a bit of a cutting edge. Uh, and, in, and as a cutting edge, it is more about you know, creating new ideas than you know, implementing them at large scale. When the ideas are, are ripe enough, then eventually the private sector takes them and scales them. But if you go to the academic sector, you can find sort of this, these unfinished ideas or these ideas in the making. And, and it's always an environment that is very inspiring.